Hi guys, Alan from Newland Nursery and this video is all about care for basil and coriander and this happens to be a part of the Doug plum box we did which we sent out at the beginning of August so only about a week or so ago and these are germinating really really well but the care and how we look after them is really really relevant loads of people understandably want to grow basil and loads of people want to grow coriander so this is great this was designed to go on a windowsill on a conservatory something like that so they've started to germinate and they're growing really really well they're now I would say round about maybe an inch I'm not very good with inch it's about three centimeters four centimeters roughly tall and what we've done is we've sown half of it coriander and half of it basil and this is lemon basil but the care of it is exactly the same as a standard sown basil just has a lovely sort of lemon scent to it as well still basil but a little lemon scent so at this stage this is where people are not entirely sure of what to do especially as we're in august we're in a warm month should they go outside should they not etc so the thing we're worried about with these is they're still quite young we want to keep the compost moist and i'm touching the compost that's that's what you want to get in the habit of fill the compost often what you'll find with compost is underneath if you have a bit of a scrape around try not to disturb anything it can look wet on the top and can be really dry underneath or vice versa and probably the other way around is more common it looks dry on the top but really moist in the bottom so keep the compost moist in warm weather this can actually go outside um, but the thing we're worried about is the wind really especially at this stage basil really doesn't like breezes so i'd say keep it on the windowsill keep it in the conservatory and they grow away really really nicely as it gets bigger same with anything as it gets older it's not a baby anymore it can tolerate slightly harsher conditions but if it was me i'd keep this on the windowsill or in the conservatory where I'm cooking a stir fry or making a salad I just pick a few leaves off and just add it to it and that picking process will mean it keeps on coming especially with the basil it will just keep on producing so if you've got any particular questions about these get in contact we're here to help see you soon